France has been a menace to West Africa and really the white supremacists have been a menace ever since his existence when it comes to definitely black people. And during the time of the president uh, Buhari out there in Nigeria, which is the previous president before the uh, new puppet president that was actually uh, put in, they had some, you know, sisters talking about, you know, France and what they have caused in Nigeria. Because remember, Mali has said that France is the one that caused and created Boko Haram in Nigeria. Let's roll that. So the message could be relayed to the French authorities, wherever they are in France, that Nigeria is indeed a sovereign country, and as such, any form or attempt to compromise our inter territorial integrity will be resisted wholeheartedly. At this point, I want to stress, Nigeria was not colonized by France. Therefore, they have no business coming to toy with our lives here. We are aware that some vested interest was not happening with the gains made by the Nigerian government and especially our dear president, President Muhammad Buhari, in the fight against terrorism. As such, they began providing logistic support under, the human, under a cover called humanitarian whatever to the Boko Haram fighters. They also assumed the role of the mouthpiece of the Boko Haram terrorist group. They use their state medium to promote their nefarious activities and to give them the needed psychological boost, claiming human rights for people that have been raised trying to kill fellow Nigerians by them. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to state categorically and on unequivocal terms that France is indeed responsible for the resurgence of Boko Haram attacks in Nigeria. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to inform the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, that the world is indeed watching closely and we, especially Nigerians, are also watching very closely. And should the French authorities not halt the spread of terrorism in Nigeria, they the day of reckoning is indeed near very and cool. very, very near. We are also aware that the actions of France are hinged on economic benefits given the avalanche of economic resources in northeast Nigeria, particularly the Lake Chad Basin region. This is indeed an attempt at recolonization. What did I say? It is another attempt at recolonization by France after we have been colonized by Britain, we are not under France and we will not allow for France to come and colonize us again with, by violence, which by all standards is peril and won't stand the test of time because Nigerians will resist every move with passion. Let me pause here and give you one statistics. In March 2008, listen to this quote and please put it on record and on your, on your medium. Without Africa, France will slide down into the rank of 23rd power of the world. That is, quote and unquote, former French president Jacques Chirac. Another quote and unquote, without Africa, France will have no history in the 21st century by Francois Mitterrand. This was a prophecy given in 1957. Now, I want to digress a little bit. In 14 African countries, 14 African countries are obliged by France through the colonial pact to put 85% of their reserves in the central bank of France. That is not enough for them. Under the French Ministry of Finance, in 2014, Togo and other 13 other African countries still have to pay the colonial debt, which they do not owe to France. African leaders who refuse to pay are either killed or victims of coup d'etat, and those who obey these oppressive conditions are supported and rewarded with a lifetime rulership and not leadership of their people. This strangulating colonial system offers France, please put it on record, a cash of about 500 billion US dollars. I mean 500 billion US dollars year in, year out, which they now in turn used to purchase weapons of destruction for fellow Africans and especially Nigerians for us to begin to kill one another. This is unacceptable to us. It is no longer tolerable. We will not accept it. Yes. And in the case for Nigerians to kill Nigerians, we say no to this. We say no. You cannot continue to use money from Africa to buy weapons, arms and ammunition for Nigerians and other African countries to kill themselves. We say no. I said we say no. no. We say no. We say no. no. The movement against
against slavery, he's also calling on United Nations to investigate the role of France in the spread of terrorism in Nigeria and the whole of Africa. France must also stop the sale of arms and ammunition to the Boko Haram terrorist groups in the interest of peace and tranquility. That is what we need for us to progress and succeed. This is on the heels that the bulk of the French NGOs operating in Northeast Nigeria are carrying out espionage activities and passing the same to the leadership of the Boko Haram terrorist groups on the instruction of French authorities because of their business interests. What you're seeing right now on the African continent is that they are waking up to the wiles of the French devil. They're understanding that they are causing calamity. They are stealing their resources. They are having their puppet leaders. And this is why you're seeing a lot of coups happening in West Africa. And I support those brothers and sisters getting out that French colonizer that's siphoning all the wealth out of those countries. Once again, it is not right for France to have this first world life when the people they're stealing from, because they're stealing, not to have that same kind of life. They are wrong, and this is why they need to go. Every West African need to get the French colonizer out. You need to get the British one out too. You need to get the American one out. Get anyone related to the West out of your countries. Because all these years, what have they actually done for you? Some nations may be better than others, but a lot of times they have to sell out and give them what they want, maybe for some things. But you need to stand up and fight for your countries and your nations. Leaving your countries and nations is not the answer. It's building it up and fighting. Because one thing that we like to see in a diaspora is you standing up and fighting for your nations because we will always be behind any of you who's standing up there and fighting back. So the message could be relayed to the French authorities, wherever they are in France, that Nigeria is indeed a sovereign country, and as such, any form or attempt to compromise our inter territorial integrity will be resisted wholeheartedly. At this point, I want to stress, Nigeria was not colonized by France. Therefore, they have no business coming to toy with our lives here. Because when we see you fighting, we would definitely assist you in any way that we can. Because one thing that we all have in common, the colonizer is the problem. And the French need to get out of every African country. Let them go and talk to their fellow Western Europeans. Let them do that. Let them work with the Asians if that's what they want to do. Fine. But leave black people alone. But they don't want to leave black people alone. And the reason being they know they will become a third world nation the moment that happens. Well, the time a third world nation it, it, it should, should come. It's time. Because it's time for all those African nations to be a first world nation. All of them. They have been third world for way too long. And they didn't deserve any of that. And it's going to take those brothers and sisters standing up and saying, get out of our country. We don't want you here. And if you don't want to uh, get out, we're going to make you get out. You understand? That is the only way that you will have some peace in the African continent. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what this sisters are saying here and our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Of course, as she said, they wasn't colonized by them, but they have caused calamity by creating Boko Haram in Nigeria.